And there's a technology out that helps people read. It's called the OrCam. With us right now, we have a Stephen Statham and Chris Statham. They're OrCam uh, My Eye users. You guys know each other, right? I mean, you look pretty. A little bit. You look like you know bit. each other. Knowing him for 50 <coughs> odd years. 50 yeah. odd yes. years. Yeah. All right. Stephen, can you tell us about your story? So, you've been uh, visually impaired for not all your life. No. I was diagnosed when I was about 18. Mm -hmm. And it got progressively worse because I used to drive a car and I used to be a marksman as well. And about 35 years ago, they declared me legally blind. So mm. no more driving, no more shooting, that type of thing. Okay, well, all right, okay. And uh, Chris, <laughs> uh, how, how about your story? Yeah. Yeah, I know you guys uh, are very extroverted as well, so this we could are, be an we interesting are. Uh, so, interview. So <laughs> I, I was diagnosed with this uh, juvenile form of macular de degeneration uh, known as Stargardt's, named after the doctor that first diagnosed it. Uh, in my mid-30s, so I was part way into my career after uh, obtaining a bachelor's degree in engineering, mm -hmm. and it progressed slowly. Uh, it was about five years before I couldn't drive any anymore. Okay. Uh, definitely got nervous very quickly, so I actually stopped driving before my license was taken away. Okay. Okay. And so, so well, there's this technology called the OrCam. Now, I know you're going to explain it. Yeah. In, in great detail, and we're going to have a demonstration. But first, how about we have a look uh, at a video, a demonstration video here on daytime? $50, please. My visa. Yeah. Sorry, ma'am, the system is down. Oh, okay. $50. There you go. Thank you very much. Um, can I have anything to deliver, please? Yeah, sure. Are you going to be friend? No problem. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Klein Street. We're almost there. Let's see if she's already here. Rachel. Hey, Liat. Hey, Rachel. I hope you haven't been waiting too long. No, I just got here. Do you need help with the menu? Not anymore. Auntie Pasty, 56. A variety of roasted vegetables and goat cheese with olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Okay, wow, and that's how it works. Uh, but maybe, Stephen, you can give us a bit more uh, information on this technology? Uh, it's, it has allowed me to do things that I haven't been able to do in years. Pick up a newspaper, read a menu, mm -hmm. uh, things that visual people take for granted. Okay. Uh, it's yeah. eye-opening, no the same pun intended. That's okay. The same for you, though, Chris. I mean, obviously, this, is, uh, this has made your life yes. uh, well, the one, a little better. Yes, the one demonstrated in, in the video is a higher-end model. We've, we've got the lower-end, the entry-level model, which basically what it allows us to do is... Uh, the one thing that I missed the most was basically reading uh, paper uh, printed material. And it, it does it very well. Okay. So, of course, how long has this technology been out for at this point? Uh, it's been available in Canada about two years, give or take, mm -hmm. and the U.S. a little longer. It's uh, originally developed in uh, Israel, yeah. where they're the expert at doing the uh, optical recognition of characters, faces, mm -hmm. whatnot. That's, and that fed over into... Uh, this uh, de commercial device. Okay, so we did see the, the demonstration in that video, uh, but uh, perhaps you uh, both collectively can show us a little bit about how this works sure. as well. So I have a uh, something I consider very apropos to to do a quick demo, and it's it's just a a little booklet on uh, guiding the blind, and all you need to do is hold it up in front of you. Oh, and of course, it just waited too long to see some activity. Okay. <laughs> okay, and. Okay, so what's happening right here? here we go. What did just a second? It's important to remember to describe your surroundings, like the size of the room or positioning of the door, in detail whenever possible to help the person you're guiding better understand your so, environment. Stop walking. So what it just did is it uh, it recognizes a page, and Steve keeps keeps doing that with mine. Okay. Uh, it, it recognizes a page. You can also point to activate it. Okay. And what it does is analyzes the. Uh, the characters in there and starts reading to no connection to the internet required. Okay. So it is standalone. Okay. It's very quick. Because in that video we saw as well, Stephen, it seemed like the the technology could even detect people. Yes. The up uh, the more advanced uh, model has facial recognition. Yeah. As well as you can hold a a bill uh, up and it'll tell you what denomination it is. Mm -hmm. It. Uh, 
I believe we'll store up to 100 names, 100 mm. people. 100 faces. That's something. That, that's incredible technology. Uh, Stephen, can you tell us uh, I mean, what you relied on before this? I just happen <laughs> to have that in my pocket. Yeah. This here, which is a jeweler's loop. And I use that to read my phone or any print. And I would actually get a panic attack if I misplaced this. I've wow. got that's a multitude true. of them around the house now. Okay. okay. I as well. Yeah. You do as well. Uh, Chris, what is the process then to get to the uh, ORCAN? Uh, well, currently it's very easy. Uh, you just need to contact the Canadian Institute for the Blind, and they have it in their catalog of uh, items they sell, both, both units, uh, the one that's 3200 and the one that does the, uh, the facial recognition, et cetera, which is about $4,500 Canadian. Right mm -hmm. now, no tax because it's, a, it's an aid for uh, disabled. Okay. And, and I have to ask, though, so this money would come out of your pocket, that this it, is not covered by any means? Sadly, <coughs> yeah. it's not, it's not covered. So, but, but you never know what could change. change. That could that change could down change. the road. Uh, Stephen, about to 30 seconds left here. How has this improved your life? Um, immensely. I can actually read a bus sign coming when the bus is coming towards me instead of waiting until it's right in front of me. Uh, again, reading menus, reading newspapers, reading a book in bed something a lot of people take for granted. Yeah, it's true. I bet they do. Well, thank you very much for telling your story here today. Yes, uh, Stephen thank you, Chris, Dan. OrCam, my eye users, orcam.com for more details on how people can get to set up with one of these. Thank you very much. Thank Our you. pleasure. Have a good day. Yes. Uh, coming up in moments, we've got Dr. Curtis Cooper from the Ottawa Hospital with a very important message next on Daytime.